All right, let's get in on a Marth Fox set here on Battlefield. Fox can have a lot of platforms to move around on, and he's making use of them already. We can see that. Go for a tech chase. Want to cover Fox going to edge. Fox is going to double jump to edge. We see that. Something very common for Fox to do. We double jump space, our edge grab, so we're okay. Oops. They went a little low, didn't have a wall to ride, so we can always have an easier edge guard here on the stage. Get on a platform, a little risky to avoid Fox, but we're gonna go for it. Fair gonna cover Fox going onto the platform. We see some double jumps coming out, which is a great play by this person. We're gonna try and call that out. Throw him to the corner. Didn't go for a reaction there, that's on us. Notice we wait to hit him late in his up B because uh, the flames are going to be out for the middle 50%. Didn't want to react early. Tried to try to space around that. Should have known better. Should have upbeat into the fox. That's on me. We're into the next stock. No double jump. I'm going to punish. Double jump to edge. That's on me. Again, I did see him do that before. Tech to edge. We are covering that again. Double jump to edge. Again, you can see me not covering it. This is giving Fox so many more chances to play. Oh, didn't get my roll out in time. Go for a little bit of a charge. Oh, a little early. Oh, that's not a forward smash. That's also not a forward smash. Again, on the platform, should have gone for forward air. That's on me. And you see I'm being a little overzealous with some of my punish options. That was a good DI mix-up from the Fox. Back there versus up there right there. Can lead to a kill. Finally end up taking the stock with a loose nair. Not really what you want to be doing. So again, I'm seeing Fox go to the corner, go to the platform. Didn't go for it this time. We're going to DI up. going to side B to edge. We can do the same thing he's doing. Oh, I want to see if I can just go for a hit there. Oh, there's my forward air. He's going to double jump early. Really doesn't want to get punished out. We're going to finally cover him going in. And I thought maybe the Fox might not go for the double jump, might go for the platform. But again, last stock. Fox may be a little bit nervous about getting hit. So I actually couldn't get that down tilt because I was spaced too close to the edge. Good play on the Fox, but we're not going for the shine. Good reaction. Good. You can see they drifted away after drifting in. Great play. A lot of good things coming out from this Fox player. I'm going to be on the stage just to challenge their landing lag. So you can see they saw when I came in, then moved right away. So we get another good play on their part. Missing my text is going to get me punished. And you see they got on a platform and they moved right away. They got right off of it, so I wasn't able to challenge their landing leg effectively. You have to really know what you want to what you want to pressure out from Fox if you're going to do go for a play like that. <coughs> Not quite enough for a kill there. Get Fox in a tough spot. I'm just going to keep him, um, keep the damage up, keep him high. Uh, maybe could have up tilted there, but. Uh, and then we're going to catch Fox out of the air with forward air, which is going to be a great tool to do that. And you'll notice that we denied them a lot of good positions, even if we didn't get a kill right away. So that's something you can always do if you are dropping your punishes as Marth. Again, so much edge play from this person looking for the edge. And again, I thought they were going to be going for double jump. And I think maybe they were looking for down air, which is why they held in. So we're just going to go for a mix up into another 50 50 on them. And you can see how well they're using their vertical play, how much they're going right before they hit the ground and then jumping. And that's so important. And I wasn't able to get the SDI out of the up air, but of course you can do that to escape in that scenario. And so even though I hit, I've hit the fox, I had to hit him again in order to get this kill. Oh, and they're going to unfortunately flop to their demise, but they had a lot of good ideas there. A 
Why well, didn't I got counter scammed? That's okay. Oh. We're just gonna kind of move with them for a little bit. And we're gonna switch up our DI the other way they're going. And that was gonna be a great play by them. They called out me going to edge and I haven't called out them going to edge a lot. And you can see they're seeing that I'm looking for double jump and they're just pressuring me right out of that. Great play by this Fox player. And you can see some of my tech skill is kind of leaving too because um, because I'm getting put in a lot of decisions positions where I have to make decisions quickly, which is great for this player. They're doing a really good job pressuring me out and Fox can do a really good job using um, vertical play on the stage. And again, I tried to get my jab out just as they did, but unfortunately no dice for me. So you can see, I'm trying to attack right as they land on this platform. And unfortunately, because I'm not close enough to do that reliably, um, they are gonna be uh, pressuring me out. So I notice I'm gonna take Randall here. We're finally gonna cover the edge just before Randall does make his way back onto the stage. Let's see if we can get an early kill. Unfortunately not, if you throw someone and you go for a tech chase here, Fox can often make it um, make it to the edge. They can slide off. And so you have to be very careful about your throws here, very mindful. And I'm really looking for Fox to go to platform, didn't give it to me. There's our double jump we've been looking for. Whoops. And finally, we cover double jump to edge there at the very end. Um, we did see them making some very good plays coming out. We saw You saw the Fox who's a very good job of mixing up their vertical plays. When I'm calling out that they're going for it a lot, suddenly they stop. When um, I'm a little concerned if it's going to happen again, they start bringing it back. And also what they're doing when they're landing off a of full hop was great. They would see me come in. They would dash full hop to the top platform. So my, full, my forward air is going to cover them shielding or dropping. Not going to do it. And then if I pull back to cover their full hop over me, then they have room to um, attack me or otherwise do mix-ups on the platform. So very aware, very good play coming out from this Fox. I really wanna shout them out um, for being very mindful of how to use Fox's vertical play in this matchup. But um, they also did a good job double jumping to edge. I did not cover that as well as I could have, and I showed you how that can kind of put pressure on someone if you're not getting your punishes um, often enough. Now, um, that being said, we did make sure that um, we were tech chasing them towards the edge a lot, make sure we tech chase them on the platform a lot, and above, you know, 23, 25%, we are able to get a decent follow-up such as with up tilt on side platforms. So we were going for that a decent amount. This Fox also had, did a good thing where they took two up tilts, the second up tilt they DI far off the stage so they can get a very good mix up. That was great on their part. Um, I needed to change up how I was punishing, but cer certainly so many more things they were doing well. You can go back in the video and see me call a lot of them out, but GG's to Wicked and hopefully you guys out there enjoyed watching these Marth Fox games. All right, let's get in on a Marth Falco set here. Now I'm gonna be moving forward immediately, but so is the Falco. We're gonna make sure we try to throw the Falco off the stage, um, get him low. His percent is very low, so we can actually fare him easily, take the stock there. We're getting a platform to avoid any sort of lasers like that. Throw him towards the edge, text toward the edge again. We're gonna pressure him out. Notice we jab a little bit early. Same kind of setup again. If Falco does up be there, we can go out and pressure. So again, we're high up because we don't want to get hit by a combo starter like Shine or Down Air, which we did on the ground. Back to platform. We're okay now. Falco messed up. He had to move away. Can't get the follow-up because he DI'd and teched away. We're just going to go for a little bit of a jab spam because we're kind of blocked here. Does he tech away? He does not, which is good. Go cover the edge. Doesn't quite uh, go for it. Falco going high there. We are taking note of that. Oh, and he lasers in place again. I am calling that out incorrectly. Falco finally does not tech towards ledge, and I did not uh, react to that appropriately. Missing your techs as Falco can be a difficult 
spot to be in. Also holding in a lot can be a difficult spot to be in. They did hold out at first and they're also gonna GG's us. So we're gonna slap some GG's back there, let them go on with their day. But hopefully that made some sense to you guys how I was um, playing off their tech habits a little bit. They changed those and I was also going for a little bit of a read with my dash attack on their movement away and they didn't give me that. So you can see how dash attack can be a very committal move. Um, and you also see how holding in can be a problem as well. But anyway, um, interesting games. You can see how um, you can follow the edge guard flow chart there reliably against a lot of players and um, how you can call out some of their habits in neutral and you can talk about where you want to be. So anyway, GG's to uh, TJ Carnage and uh, thank you for playing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Marth versus Falco.